Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. My name's Julie. My husband and I live on a ha uh, half an acre here in town. If you've never uh, been on my channel before, we grow food and we grow lots of food. Today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite summertime salads and it's pretty simple. It's a roasted beet and goat cheese salad. I've got lots of beets growing in the garden and I try to think of different ways to use them. Now I did pickle some the other day. If you haven't seen that video, look it up because they're really easy to pickle and they are so delicious. But on a salad, um, I like beets a different way. We're gonna roast them and uh, we're gonna do, I chose arugula for my greens. Um, I have a lot of that growing out there and it's growing well uh, for this time of year, but you can use whatever greens you like. So this, I put my arugula, I harvested and it was kind of uh, hot out. So I like to put my greens in a bowl to soak them in ice water. Um, it really crisps them up well if it's warm out when you harvest them. So these are soaking in ice water. So let's get started. We're, first thing we're going to do is roast beets. I've chosen to use two different kinds of beets. I've chosen to use golden beets and red beets. You don't have to, I just think they look really pretty side by side on a salad. But when processing them, you'll want to keep them separate because the red beets will bleed all over the golden beets and mess up your pretty color. So I'm going to peel and um, cut the ends off of the golden beets first on my cutting board before I attack the red beets. All right, so I have my knife. I'm gonna cut the ends off. Oh, how beautiful that is. Look at that beet. Isn't that a pretty color? That's a golden beet and I'm going to peel it. And beets really aren't easy to peel when they're raw. Um, so I'm gonna try not to lose a finger and peel the beets. If you have any blemishes in them or little spots where a critter's gotten to them, always cut that out. I think the golden beets add so much though to your dish. They're so pretty and they're so sweet. Um, I like using them and, and mixing them. The red ones are so good for you. They're good for your heart, good for your blood. So I like to use both, but you don't have to. If Use whatever you've got, whatever you have available. If you don't grow them, Go to the store and get you some. I've often in through the winter bought beets from Sprouts um, and they're pretty reasonable there. Okay, so I have my beet peeled and I'm gonna cut it. I want everything to be kind of uniform in size so that uh, they'll cook evenly. All right, so I cut it in four pieces like that, this the half, so that actually will be cut in eight pieces. Okay, so like I said, I wanna keep my beets separate, so I'm not even gonna put them in the same bowl together. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the golden beets, and I'll be right back. Moving right along to the red beets, we're going to peel them. You'll see there's a big difference in how messy these guys are. Um, I mean, if you don't like the messiness of a beet, you can stick to golden beets, but I sure like mixing them. The red beets are so good for your blood. <clears throat> beet root, as Charles Dowding says. I watched Charles Dowding. Um, a lot of what I learned about no-till gardening, I learned from Charles Dowding. Beet root. If you haven't ever checked out his YouTube channel, you should check it out. It's full of information. He's over in the UK. Okay, we're going to make these about the same size as close to what we can um, that we did the golden beets. Here's how well, my golden beets ended up. So I've got about that many. You can use as many as you want.
Okay, my next step is to roast these beets. I'm going to put a little olive oil on here. I'm going to keep my bowls separate, keep my beets separate. Um, Y'all saw that I had these little stripy ones, but they don't bleed out. So I put those in with the golden beets. Okay, we're going to add a little salt into each one of them. A little garlic powder. It's whatever you like. But the garlic, so many people think that they don't like beets because they taste like dirt. But these will not taste like dirt, I promise you. Roasted beets with garlic do not taste like dirt. Alright, and of course a little pepper. Alright. We're going to toss these in the oil. We're going to do our golden beets first. All right, we have those all tossed up with oil, and I'm going to put those on one side of my baking sheet. I actually have a pizza pan here that's uh, stoneware, and I like the way it cooks. Um, it doesn't take very long. My oven is set on 425, so you'll want to do that ahead of time. This isn't really going to take very long, and we're going to put the red beets on the other side so they don't touch each other. Otherwise, your beets will be all mixed up in color, and it'll make your golden beets look dirty. So we don't want that. We don't want dirty golden beets. No. So we're going to do this, and if they're laying on the stone where it gets them. Okay, we're going to put these in the oven. I'll be right back. After about 35 minutes <clears throat> our beets have come out of the oven and I'm gonna let them sit out there and cool off a little bit and we'll start building our salads all right you remember the pickled red onion we made the other day if you haven't done this make yourself some you will not be disappointed we're gonna use this pickled red onion um, it's much softer flavor than if you just put regular onion on and you can but <clears throat> the pickled red onion not only is this a burst of flavor, but this is a burst of color. Um, so we're going to put these generously on top of the salads. I hope you try that. It was so easy to make. <clears throat> All right, about like that. The next thing we're going to put on our salad is our beets. I've let these cool off a little bit. They're still warm. I just don't want them so hot that they uh, wilt my greens. So I'm going to add some golden beets to one side of each salad. And then I will add some red to the other side. <clears throat> I actually probably make more of these than I needed so um, you can stick these in the fridge and they'll save and heat up just fine Quite a few beets left over so let me rinse my hands so the next thing we're going to put on top is some goat cheese i love the wonderful sweet taste of goat cheese and we're just going to pinch out little pieces of it and put on top
gives it just another level of flavor. So not only is this so flavorful, but it's actually just like a burst of color too. This is beautiful. The bright pink of the onions is amazing. All right, last but not least, we need a dressing. You can use whatever dressing you like. I make mine, it's my red wine vinaigrette because it's a very soft dressing. We don't want anything that's gonna overpower these flavors that are in our salad. So I'm just gonna spoon this and drizzle it over the top. This is a beautiful, beautiful dressing for this. Actually, I use this dressing a lot for a lot of things. You can use it for a marinade or you can use it for a salad dressing, but the red wine vinegar, it gives it a little sweetness, a little tartness. So look at that. That gets to be our dinner for tonight. And I hope you try it because it's a beautiful salad and it's a way to incorporate beets into your diet because they are healthy. And you're gonna have to trust me and try this, but they do not taste like dirt. Thanks for joining me today.